the new ones again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lewis Sports Network. It is your boy, Lewis, and I am back once again with another heavy hitter hang banger with yet another video. So make sure y'all smash the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that notification bell is turned on. Make sure to share the videos and make sure to comment down below. Appreciate everybody on this Wednesday afternoon. Make sure to stay tuned tonight. I am doing the New Orleans Pelicans against the Dallas Mavericks at 930 Eastern Time in Dallas. Zion Williamson against Luka Doncic. Be there or don't be square, man. For those who are, so hopefully any fans of the Pelicans, any fans of Dallas, any fans of Luka and Zion, please make sure y'all come through and smash that like and make sure you share the videos and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. I truly appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. So, on to the video. So, didn't I tell you guys that this agenda was going to continue to surface for why LeBron is being pushed the MVP? So, according to reports, LeBron was named Western Conference Player of the Month for the second straight month. And Chris Broussard and Skip Bayless are going to point some things. And this is probably the quietest that I've heard Shannon Sharp in probably this segment when talking about it's so crazy how Westbrook has had a dominant month. Damian Lillard had a dominant month. Giannis had a dominant month. But LeBron wins the award because in year 17, he's leading the league in assists. And Chris Broussard uses the argument about how John Stockton didn't even lead the league in assists after his 12th year. I don't know how you can use that against John Stockton when John Stockton is a point guard. And you're just saying that because LeBron plays what? Small forward, but he's been a point forward since the moment he got into the NBA. I wonder why nobody talks about that. But anyway, we're going to hear this segment from, from the show, and I'm just going to get my thoughts on playing Paul. So, ladies and gentlemen, grab some snacks. Enjoy. As Hoodie Lou is about to put in that work. Let's go. Let's get it. Hmm. Did you hear that? First Laker to win Western Conference Player of the Month in back-to-back back, back, -back months since Kobe Bean. I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> Something's going on, right? <laughs> I think all of us who really watch basketball, the true basketball heads, once again, five is the number of confirmation for the number of championships for Kobe Bryant, in my opinion, as I say, basketball 505, those are my words. Take them or leave them as you hear them. I've said this. We know, Chris, too many fanboys just choose not to listen. Something's going on here. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Remember, people have said that LeBron is owed three to four MVPs. I just want to know, what are the years that LeBron should have won the MVP? Because I've broken down some seasons in which why he didn't deserve them. Not because he's not a great player, but it's because other players have had better seasons than LeBron overall. When you look at when you put things in historical context, the problem is, is that they just want to do that. I said, look, you, if you're going to say that about LeBron, you can make the case about, you know, about Jordan, too. And when he was dominating and he won five regular season MVPs, let me put it this way. If LeBron's getting it because he leads the league in assists in his 17th year and he's a small forward doing this, then guess what? John Stockton should have more MVPs. Steve Nash should have more MVPs. Hell, Chris Paul should have a couple of MVPs. Okay? James Harden should have another MVP. Actually, the MVP that Russell Westbrook won where Harden was switched to point guard and he led the league in assists at 11.2. I'm just saying. 29-8-11. And that's what the league is doing. They're trying to give LeBron these lifetime achievement awards for why he deserves the MVP. But at this point, you know what? If they're going to do that and give LeBron the MVP, that's fine. But the thing is, if you're going to be the MVP, don't use that as an excuse as to why you're not going to win the NBA championship. And I've talked a lot about Giannis. I'm surprised 
It's gotten louder because of you La Media Lacronis. Giannis is the MVP and I made a video on it. Case closed. Oh, it's not just the league. It's not just the league. That gentleman with the glasses who's fawning over LeBron James, 16 years younger than um, Mr. Um, Sharp over there, he's fiending. Because the, this is the problem. All of these guys are waiting to come out of the closet to try to now try to convince the people who have fairly criticized him to say that you know nothing. We have predicted this from the season. No, you guys flip flop just like the fan base does. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Plus, I got to say this also. Do you honestly think that I'm going to take Chris Boussard's word seriously? Mr. Kawhi, 99% the Clippers are out. I told you. La Chris Boussard ain't fooling me, bro. None of these guys are. Because if LeBron happens to win an MVP, a championship and finals MVP, they're all going to jump on the bandwagon. Colin Cowherd has just made this moment where he said that the Clippers are going to ramalang the Lakers and that he says they're going to beat them in five games in the Western Conference Finals. And he thinks the Clippers are going to win the NBA title. You know why he doesn't like to talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo so much? Because Colin is not a fan of small market teams. And unfortunately for Giannis, Giannis is in a small market team. He doesn't like small market teams. He's all about the big markets when it comes to NBA Finals because that makes the most That means no. And beat better teams than the Lakers did. Lakers went eight and two. LeBron played great, but I think Westbrook had a better month. I'm gonna say it again. How is it that Westbrook and Damian Lillard had more dominating months than LeBron James, and LeBron James gets pushed to win the Western Conference Player of the Week? That just lets you know if he's winning it back to back, and they're saying he's the first since Kobe. That's letting you know that the league is pushing for him to be the MVP. They're pushing it. You could you they, you could tell. That means that all that work that Giannis did without a second dominant player. And the thing that I don't like is they want to use that whole the East is weak argument. LeBron James monopolized the Eastern Conference for eight straight years. That's how he got to eight straight finals. That's why when the Lakers, I mean, I'm sorry, when the Cavaliers, you could you, you didn't have to worry about them with seeding. They were the most talented team in the East. So you didn't have to worry about seeding if you were Cleveland. You never had to. Even if you trade all the pieces and all that and you know how people keep saying that he carried bumps to the finals in 2018 dude he was looking for a way out why do you think he purposely quit in the finals because he did not want to stay he was already thinking about leaving okay lebron plans out his processes i've been telling you guys this for a minute now he plans on what he's going to do about a year or two in advance that's why I'm not surprised at some of the moves that LeBron has made. He plans this. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. And that's what y'all need to see. So now you can, guys, giving LeBron two straight, first guy says Kobe on the Lakers, hmm. I think that does build his case more. And then let's go to the East. The guy but notice, you're using Kobe to build his case. What am I telling y'all, man? Westbrook, if Tatum could get it, why couldn't Westbrook? 
If that's the case, then I got to ask you a question. Why are some of these people in the media then voting, though, if they have votes, if this is generated by the league? See? I got to give Russell Westbrook a lot of credit, and the Houston Rockets have been, been winning as a result of that, so you got to give him credit. Shannon, not so sharp, Ramon James, man, screaming as LeBron's wife. Right, nutsack. Did not say that in my last. Did not say that in my last video about Giannis. Did not say that, but you already know it's gonna get ignored. Shannon, why didn't you keep your mouth shut, yo? Chris. <laughs> oh, look, Chris, look, Chris, full sorry, bro. <laughs> look how quiet Shannon got. <laughs> yo, oh man. Think of it this way, Skip. It's kind of like pretty much, it's kind of the LeBron system in a sense, in a sense. The reason being is because Giannis predicates on drives to the basket. You take that away and make him shoot from the jump shot. That makes everybody else stagnant because one, he misses. When he's in the paint, you double him. Now there's really not a, there's really not a, a lot of rhythm because if you look at a lot of the players on their team, they're rhythm players. So now you take away their rhythm when they're able to stop you, knowing that your biggest strength is going to the rim. So that's why you have to understand that's part of the reason why he disappeared. Toronto, they have nice, lengthy wingspan defenders that can switch, that can trap, that can double, that can guard their position really well. That's why Giannis lost. Also, you have to count the fact that Chris Middleton and Eric Bledsoe, again, were no-shows, which is my concern with the Bucks when Giannis gets taken out of a game. 
both out and in. Aren't those the similar stats that these LeBron fanboys and fangirls continue to talk about when they talk about LeBron when excuses are always ready to be made? Points, rebounds, blocks, but now he's the MVP because he's leading the league in assists. Anthony Davis is pretty much doing something similar, but yeah, he is really getting no credit. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, again, the goalposts is move for one player compared to the others. Oh, all of a sudden he's a he's a he's a per king. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You wasn't make you wasn't having that same energy. Now you now you don't want to have that same energy, Shannon. Please. And Skip said that last year about AD that he was a per guy. Now all of a sudden that he's with LeBron, he's he's just a per guy. Told y'all, the media is trying to discredit Anthony Davis by pushing LeBron. See, see. This is how pathetic it is. Old Goat James, you see? See? But he averages over four during the season. That That's not impressive to me. Oh, well. But this ain't Cleveland, Shannon, so it ain't Cleveland, so you better chill out. I told you, Laker fans, I'm telling you, you better not show up to work if, you're, if your beloved king don't win. You sound so confident, bro. So confident. I can't wait to this look on your face if y'all don't, don't get it done. And I'm telling you now, ladies and gentlemen, that team is going to be coming. They will be coming. They will be. The Clippers have not played up to expectations, and they've had guys in and out of the lineup. And I, they're, look, man, you allow five teams to score 140, that's not cool, okay? So they hold all the smoke, Kawhi, PG, everybody. Pat Bev with the defense. You let Shake Milton score 39 points. Come on, bro. That's your assignment. But I will say this, their best basketball is yet to come. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Lewis back with another one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments for the live reaction from, uh, you know, this video. So once again, live, laugh, love. Thank y'all for watching Pelicans Mavericks tonight.